Czech Republic, Miss Kristina Piskova. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So Kristina, maybe you can introduce yourself to them with what we talked about in Filipino. Hi everyone, my name is Kristina Piskova and I'm Miss World Czech Republic 2022. Also, I'm a contestant for the next edition of the Miss World 2023. Mabuhay, ako si Kristina, mula sa the Czech Republic. Salamat. Okay, all right. So, um, Kristina is here for just a few days in preparation for um, Miss World. And so, Christina, I would like to ask, so before arriving here in the Philippines, where were you? Mm -hmm. So, before arriving to Philippines, I was in many countries because um, besides uh, my queen, queen journey, I'm a model and I'm a student. So, I was working in Switzerland and Italy. Um, right now, I started working with a new brand, Guess. So I had a lot of photo shoots and uh, I decided it would be nice to come here to Asia. I went to Thailand and now I'm here in the beautiful Philippines, preparing as much as I can for my journey to the crowned Miss World. All right. So um, before we start, maybe you guys already have Beans. some questions so far. Mm -hmm. I need to say that uh, what really touched my heart is the people. And I need to say that people here are very welcoming, very warm. They have a big heart and I really appreciate it because it makes me feel like I'm a home here. And I need to say that my stay here so far was very nice, very amazing. And I hope I can, I mean, I hope I will not, I don't need to leave this country because I, I also uh, know that you have very beautiful nature. So I would love to travel everything, also the islands, because I know you have over 7,000 islands and just to enjoy the country a little bit more. All right. So maybe we can entertain our first. And yeah, that's, that's the story why, why education. And also I think it's a very important topic with education. We can solve many things in the world and I think without education, it would be a very sad place. Me, myself, I'm also studying um, a law university and business university both. And it's just very nice to broaden your knowledge. And I think it's a very powerful weapon in this world. I, I will ask the next question if it's okay, guys. Can you the question, so, please? what is your advantage as a professional uh, advantage. model in mm -hmm. a pageant? Um, my advantage can definitely be that I'm used to be on a runway. I'm used to work with people on a photo shoot, so I know how it goes, but I need to say that uh, beauty pageants, that's about something else. It's not only about being a model. You can be very beautiful, you can be a successful model, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be a good beauty queen. And opposite, if you're an amazing beauty queen, it doesn't mean that you'll be successful on a fashion week in the world. And it definitely gave me some fundamentals, but I think the most important part is still what I've learned after that modeling career and that's during my journey with Mystery Republic and that's during my uh, work abroad and my social projects. Okay, next question. Um, hi, I'm good afternoon. You're gonna be a model, you're gonna be a beauty queen. I've seen you in my dream of a crown <coughs> and after a few years it, I really became a beauty queen. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was always telling me stories about how Philippines are a beautiful country, that it's looking here like Maldives, yeah. you have beautiful islands, beautiful beaches. So I'm super, super excited to be here. It was a little bit last minute decision because I was supposed to go only to Thailand, but then I realized that it's only three hours from here. So I needed to come here and visit the beautiful Philippines. Good. Uh <laughs> And so far, how was your experience? I'm doing um, the charity work um, yesterday, I believe. Yes. You had a charity work? Yes. Uh, actually, we had a full week of schedule because I'm trying to make the most of it. And yesterday, we visited an uh, elementary school where I was able to participate with the children. We had a beautiful seminar where we talk about confidence, self-development, education, and uh, achieving your dreams. Because I think the children need to realize that they can become whoever they want if they're gonna work hard and if they're not gonna give up on their dreams. So I 
was able to connect with them and also we had a little surprise for them. We gave them some uh, school supplies they needed and we worked with the school supplies. So it was a very enriching experience and I need to say that they gave me a very warm welcome. So it was so much fun and I wish I could have come again. Yeah. All right, next question. Yes. Hello, okay. Christina. I am Hi. Benjamin from mm -hmm. Sash Factor International. Mm -hmm. I just want to ask you about your preparations in terms of gowns mm -hmm. or the wardrobe that you're going to wear mm -hmm. during the competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your question. So when it comes to my gowns and when the preparation, when it comes to the styling, uh, we have an amazing creative director who is helping me with that. His name is Sam from our organization. And he's actually the one uh, who is choosing the designs together with me, but I need to say that so far I came to Thailand to actually try my final gown. So I had a fitting. Um, I think it's not a secret that my final gown is going to be from uh, GL. And it was made for me as I dreamed to have it. So I'm very happy to wear his dress. And it's still in the preparation, so you can definitely look forward, but I'm going to wear the Miss World stage. Yes, of course, in terms of preparation, I can say that you're ready. Let me ask you this question. Why should you be the next Miss World? Mm -hmm. Because I found my purpose in life, and I want to show it to the world. And the Miss World is such a big stage, and I want to talk about it. And I want to connect with the girls and with the world. I want to be the ambassador for the good things, because I think if you are the one who is really believing in what you're doing, other people can see it. And why I should be the one? Because I know that's who I am. I'm not pretending, I'm not playing any role. It's just who I was my whole life. And I would love to become just the best version of it and do it in the bigger, biggest scale possible and just to show my purpose to the world. Thank you, Christina. Mm -hmm. I will have. I will have. His name is Bench. Bench and he, yeah. he, mm -hmm. he, oh, Actually, I had a photo shoot with his dresses and I fell in love. He's so talented. So I'm going to wear his dresses too from the Filipino designer. And we choose some beautiful colors. So you will definitely see that too. Any more Filipinos helping you with the preparation for Miss World? Mm -hmm. Actually, I have an amazing team here. For example, yeah. JB yeah. standing closest. Hi, oh, I know. Of course, we have Linnell. <laughs> and also Linnell. Uh, Linnell is Linnell. there. Yeah. I need to. Mm -mm. I need to really thank them because they helped me to prepare this whole trip, mm -hmm. and they're taking the best care of me. And I need to say that without them, I think I would not be able to sit here talk to you. So thank you very much, and I'm sure that it will be amazing what we're gonna create. Yes, and this, uh, sorry, give me happy. Dear Julia Morley, I'm so excited to meet you right now. I was not expecting that it's going to be through the camera, but I'm very excited to be here in the beautiful Philippines and to be able to talk to you. You're my biggest inspiration, and I can't wait to join the Miss World stage next year in March. It will be uh, okay. my free day, that's true. And uh, uh, JV recommended me beautiful places. And as I mentioned that uh, since I was a little girl, I was always listening from my friend Maria, how beautiful is the nature in the Philippines. My plan is uh, to go uh, explore that. And I would love to go to Pohol Islands and to just relax and enjoy one day of sun before I will come back to Poland to work. <laughs> so definitely it's the nature and maybe I would also like to explore a little bit of the history of the Manila and Philippines and I would love to visit the historical center. And I think that's all I can do with my time because I have just one day, but I'm very much looking forward to that. Is she from Czech Are you Republic meeting also? With Maria. 
Maria Sunshine. Uh, she's from Philippines. Oh, she's Filipina. Philippine. Filipina. She yeah, grew she's Maria Filipina. Sunshine grew up with her. Yeah. So she already had an idea about in the Czech Republic. Republic. In Czech Republic. Yeah. Oh. She moved to Czech Republic. She's working there mm. and so we met when I was I think 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. And until this day we're still very very good friends. Any chance of meeting Miss World Philippines? Gwen? Oh, uh, definitely. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, we have scheduled a meeting for today, Ooh. so I'm very excited to, to meet Gwen today. Where are you going to meet? Here in this hotel. <laughs> We're gonna, going to have a, a dinner oh, and wow. yeah, I, I'm always very excited with my travels that mm -hmm. I'm able to meet other girls from other countries. Mm -hmm. I met uh, Karina in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And she's very sweet, very kind, very smart and funny girl. We had we had a blast together. Also, I met Audrey from Indonesia. She's such a sweetheart and angel. So I'm very excited to meet also uh, Gwen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just to talk and just have a little bit uh, of talk before we're gonna meet again at the, uh, in India at the Miss World. Do you have any brother? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I don't have brother, but I have older sister. Her mm. name is Halina, and, <laughs> and I'm someone else than I really am. So I'm planning to show who I am, what are my biggest forces, and I know I'm a very hardworking person, and because I love my work and I have the passion, I have my purpose and the message. That's why I will just go there. I want to enjoy it very much with all the girls. I, I don't want to really compete. I just want to show myself and really be sure I'm going to be the best version. Because I know the biggest competition is not the other girls, but it's myself. Okay, so, From, so sorry, before the next question, I just want to share with everyone. Miss World is not only about the appearance but the main thing in Miss World is the purpose. So if my purpose will be something people appreciate, I'm sure that why I would not bring the crown back to Europe. <laughs> Even though I'm a Barbie too. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, baby? How old are you? I'm 24 years 20. old. 24. What's your height? What's your height? Height. I'm 181, so I'm a very tall girl. And with that, can you stand up, please? Seven. Just to compare with a 5'8". <laughs> 5'11 with heels, 5'8. So, we can continue with the questions. Can you see the camera? But we will have more photos outside yes, later. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so. Yes. 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 Here. Can I see the camera? Here. Okay. I see this. I think I'm going to go. All right, in three, two, one. Okay, Christina, you can sit down and continue. Just to continue the I need to say, hmm, I really admire the suffragettes because they were very strong when they were fighting for their laws and the women. Of course, I need to say this cliche because my grandma and my mom, they're my biggest inspirations for sure too. Because I, I am from a diverse family and my mom helped me a lot to become an independent woman who knows how to take care of herself and she made sure that I don't I don't miss anything. My dad is amazing too, but my mom was the one who grew up with me. And yeah, that would be my answer. I'll ask another pageant question. Mm -hmm. When you hear the phrase beauty with a purpose, what comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. When I hear the phrase beauty with a purpose, uh, the first thing uh, I actually have in my mind is a Julia Morley because it, she is just doing so much for this world and lately she, you know, she even received this amazing prize because she's doing so much work and I think we can all look up to her and she's the real example of the beauty with a purpose in the world. Let's make it harder since we've prepared for a lot of things. So maybe I will ask you this question. If you can describe the color blue, because that's the color of Miss World, right? <coughs> If you can describe the color blue to a blind child, how would you describe it? Hmm. Uh, for me, what means color blue is the calmness, and it's, I would say, the calmness, which is very powerful though. 
because it's the color of the seas and of the sky. And uh, every time when I look at the blue color, I just feel very peaceful. I know that everything is all right in the world. And that's, I think, why it's also the color of Miss World, because Miss World is about being as one as a society, being just all together. So I would say it's that. I do. All right. There's a question there. And then queens are very beautiful. And you're just a country with all the queens you have are so like so successful and inspiring and very hardworking women. So I can't just say one because of course in my head I have at least ten. So wow. you are a country. <laughs> I would say this this country is a queen maker, you know. <laughs> There's a question here. To be everything. You need to be a hard worker. It's also a little bit of maybe your luck. You need to be also yeah, you just need to be flexible to adapt to the situations. And it's not only about one thing, it's about the more things, but uh, the most important thing in this world is also who you are as a person. So let the best not win. Peace right. to everyone. <laughs> Actually, we've learned one very beautiful sentence. Mm. You need to help me with this. Please look all the <laughs> uh, This press conference, this little talk with the media, with the fans. I'm so happy to be on my Miss World journey and if there is one thing I can ask you now is to do not forget to just um, support your favorite contestant and if you want to support me you can definitely do it not only on my social media but also at the Mobstar platform. Uh, us as Czech Republic, we're a smaller country so I'll be definitely happy if uh, even people from abroad can support me there and give me there your likes and votes and yeah i just i'm just very grateful to be here and that's the thing i realized after i joined the beauty pageants that it's very it's just warming your heart that you have someone who is cheering for you that you have your fans and people who are willing to help you because in modeling it was a lot about appearance and I didn't feel anything like I feel right now. So thank you so much. Salamat. Right. Thank you. My Instagram is Christina Pishko. My name is a little bit difficult, but it's spelled K-R-Y-S-T-Y-N-A. Uh, P-Y-S-Z-K-O. Christina Pishko. I'll be so happy if you send me a message and if you just give me a follow and we can connect and you can follow my journey. <laughs> We will tell you for later. Okay, right. thank you.